Olá, estudantes, como estão vocês? Hoje eu gostaria de apresentar a vocês o Roussan. Hi, Roussan. Hi, hi, Jesus. Thank you for talking with us. É, o Roussan é, estava previsto participar da nossa aula de hoje. Hoje é sexta-feira, o dia que nós estamos gravando. Mas ele teve um compromisso nos Estados Unidos e também houve a greve dos caminhoneiros que atrapalhou os nossos planos. É, então ele não vai poder participar da aula de hoje, no caso, terça-feira, mas após a nossa reunião hoje sobre o nosso Genesis Block, ele decidiu gravar um vídeo para dirigir uma mensagem a vocês. É, Roussan, for start our conversation, mm -hmm. could you speak a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure, sure. First, hello everybody, hello FICAP. I'm, I'm excited being uh, able to send you this message. I wish I was there. Um, I heard a lot of things from uh, Jesus about this course and, and you guys, and uh, I wish uh, in the uh, next opportunity we will be there. So I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a serial entrepreneur today. I dropped medicine 10 years ago. I did the uh, University of Medicine in Egypt, Cairo. Then I start uh, business life maybe uh, around 10 years. And on the last five years, I'm involved only on blockchain related or like mainly on the blockchain related matters. It's my passions. People ask me, what's your job titles? And I say, I'm star watcher. That's my job title. I go places to watch the stars with fascination. So that's, uh, that's my, my passion today. And I, I look to, to blockchain project as a stars. I go from place to place from event to event and from project to others to watch these new stars raising on the, on the sky. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's start uh, by a simple question, mm -hmm. uh, Hussan. What is blockchain? Right, so, I mean, if you want to go in 30 seconds, probably in a, another opportunity we will go in, in deeper level. But in 30 seconds, the, the part that I always like to, to, to explain the, the general ledger con uh, concept. So imagine we have a spreadsheet, right? So we have a, just a simple Excel spreadsheet. And on this first spreadsheet written on the first line, Jesus, he has 50 coin, X coin, okay? That's it. So every time one line written on this spreadsheet, we're gonna send copy to everybody on this class or in this um, uh, place. So. On the first line written, Jesus, he, and beside that, 50x coin. We all have copy of that. Now, if Jesus, he want to send money uh, to Hussam, he want to send, he can send 50, he can send 20. Let's say he put Jesus to Hussam 100. And he, when he send you copy of that, you will see on the history that he has 50, how he's sending 100. He can't send 100. So pretty much because you already have copy of what was the state of this spreadsheet before he make this transaction, it become impossible for him to fake. Let's say I, which is I'm just a person that he has the spreadsheet and it's written on the first line, Jesus has 50. And then I put Hussam and beside that I put, I don't know, 100 or 200 or something. And when I send you a copy of, of this spreadsheet, you're gonna compare that with yours and it's like, from where you brought that money, myself, my ex coin or fake up coins, like from thin air, so you will say this is invalid and you will reject that you have this copy. So pretty much we have a general ledger, we have a ledger which is like, you know, ledger, spreadsheet or something of these natures, where we all have the same copy of that and every single transaction is written there. So when you go install Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever is in your computer and you receive a transaction or you send one, you literally has a history of every single transaction since inception. Since nine years for Bitcoin, since four or five years for Ethereum or others. You, you have every single transaction. Imagine you have a spreadsheet and you have all the lines, everybody sent to everybody, of course identified by, by code, not by their full name. So in a very uh, like simplified way, it's as simple as that, just a ledger. This be because of the power of cryptography today. We're able to do that in a very uh, secure way, like uh, only Hussam, he can add lines saying that the 50 he has today, which is he got from Jesus, for example, 
he's transferring to tomorrow to uh, you know a Jew or to somebody else. And that's uh, uh, pretty much the the whole uh, blockchain related in a in a thirty second. Blockchain, uh, mm -hmm. it seems to me, is becoming very popular. Why everybody is, in, is talking about it today? Yeah, I ask myself <laughs> the same. Ask, I ask myself the same questions. It's uh, yeah, you know, probably the superficial part is like the or the the, the top like from outside is just the, the price, the monetary price, the the price on exchange. So the price of uh, on exchange for one unit which is like Bitcoin price or Ethereum price, that's what people be very fascinated. Oh, the dude, he paid 10,000 Bitcoin for a pizza and it's it worth uh, 80 million today. It was like a couple of months ago, it was like 180 million, what that 10,000 uh, Bitcoin he paid for a pizza in 2011. Now, now you know, that's at the superficial la layer. It's true, the, v the value, like the valor, we, 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 we define it, the value at exchange, it's, uh, it's high, low, uh, all this stuff. But the underneath value, which w what this technology brings to us, is way beyond the monetary value, which is the value on exchange. Probably Bitcoin today is like 9,000, next month will be 50,000 or 500, it doesn't matter. Because the value underneath for this whole technology is way beyond this monetary value we're seeing today. Probably other something that get people so enthusiastic about it, the opportunities, the opportunity this technology bring to us and what can we do with that? Because of this uh, cryptography, the strong cryptography underneath, we would use it on the ID. We are using it today as money. So hmm, if you go back in history, for all our life, we know like register, we know what we call it, um, a, a documented civilization, last 10,000 years, we have well-documented information about what was going on. We used to be our own banks, right? Your grandfather, he used to have gold and pay gold to somebody else and travel from here to Japan and take his gold and they accept it there. And just over the last 70 years, we have fiat currency and we have it managed by a centralized authority, governmental today. At beginning, it was covering gold, now it is not. But it just we're just getting back to one big thing, being your own bank. That's a huge, huge something, because for we know about 10,000 years, we probably, as Homo sapiens, been here for 200,000 years, and we used to have our own transfer of value medium from salt, from shell, from gold, all, all this stuff. So we have uh, use of ID, we have the use of transfer of value, store of value. We have the use today for um, uh, in, on the technology, for examples, for the uh, transportation and for uh, uh, insurance, multiple application for the day to day, you could use it and to automate all the use for that. Probably a very, very beautiful something tomorrow we will see will bring this transparency. Because you remember we spoke at the beginning, you have a history of every single transaction. So it's like, hmm, I have a history of everything happened and it's already, I have a copy of that in my computer. So it's like, hmm, if I'm gonna, you know, from under the table, get some money from Jesus, it's like, how could I hide it? It's gonna be very, very difficult. So this transparency part, to put use of blockchain in, in a governmental or society, it's uh, one of these great things that people getting enthusiastic about. Okay. Maybe now I'm going to ask a million dollar question. Okay. How long this technology will take to change society? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, uh, nobody knows, but, I, but what, I, what, what I know for sure that it already changed. What we know, like for sure, it already changed. You know, you're literally able to pick your phone now. I'm actually, actually, you do have in your cell phone bitcoins, right? Yes. And you can literally. You gave me some. Well, uh, well <laughs> welcome anytime. <laughs> so, so you literally could go ahead and transfer to me, I'm in Mexico next week, and transfer to me a million, two hundred, 
within second it will arrive to, to me and I can liquidate that and I use it to pay my accommodation or to buy. So already decent part is already there. The things that if you look back in a, you know, kind of, I mean, how long it take the technology to change. We know like in information technology and internet maybe for um, maybe uh, 30 years, 20, 30 years and make big change in our life. But because when the internet come, there was no internet. So it takes 20 years. But when blockchain come and there is internet, so probably that will take two years, five years, it's gonna be much, much shorter to see a ver very big spectrum effect uh, than any other, uh, any other technologies. Most probably, I, I, would, I would argue, we start seeing that already today m on a major scale. And we're gonna see in a very short uh, term in a very near futures, uh, uh, like a decent uh, application of that integration of this blockchain related technology on society. Okay, and finally, the billion dollar question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How we okay. can use uh, blockchain to make better the world? Right, right. Yeah, yeah that's, um, that's, that's one of the subjects that I, I personally has a passion about uh, and uh, it's one of the uh, area that of my study I uh, study uh, this part in uh, very closely I accompany this part and uh, I study it because uh, the the influence of new technology for example uh, a couple of years where there was like a big something about nanotechnology well that's great but that would inf that influent influenced uh, in a very specific area of our life what happened with the blockchains, its, in, its influence is not going to apply in, uh, you know, the way you pay or like a new cell phone. It's not going to apply just for the business. It's actually will change the underneath way how, how the society work, the government work, how, how the entire, like the conceptual of, uh, of the social contract, how we deal with each other, there is a huge possibility that this would actually, you know, help and make that happen. I always, uh, like, when it comes to the subject of, like, so, uh, uh, conflict resolutions and international relations and blockchain, I always ask, is like, okay, let's imagine you wake up tomorrow and you have no memory of country. Everything in your head, ev all your memory is intact, 100%. Just one single something. You don't remember country or anything related to country. Imagine that happened to you and the seven billion, seven and a half billion on the globe. We all wake up tomorrow and we have no memory of country. That's it. Everything in our life the same. What do you think will happen? Would we ever create country on the same border we have today? Would we ever create a government on the same governmental structure we have today? I, I, you know, I, 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 I wish to hear uh, a feedbacks, but I, I, I would argue the chances will approach zero. We will have border of Brazil the, w the way we have it today, or borders of United States the way we have it. If we have all the information we have today, the technology, but we don't have memory of country, it's crazy the way we live on the world, how we deviate resource. It's just crazy that a country, uh, example, United States here, spend $750 billion per year to make guns. Why? Because Russia spending a lot of money for that and China spending a lot of money and collectively we're all spending. Why? Because there is enemy, because there is somebody I'm afraid of. But if you redesign the world, this would never happen. And what, what's super interesting with the blockchain, that we actually could make that happen. We could actually take out these borders. We actually could change how the government interact with, with society. We have this power again, this power and empowerment to, to do that, to put that. We just, I mean, some people say, oh, it's like there is cartel, there's interest. Definitely, definitely, like anywhere. And um, that's part of whatever something. But would, like, did you, I don't know, today, you're, you're, you are your own bank. 
by having this uh, uh, Bitcoin in your pocket and you could mm -hmm. transfer all your cash money to Bitcoins and have it in your, in your pocket. You already took from governments what it used to be governmental, which is like monetary policy and printing money. I mean, on th a couple of years ago, you ask people, oh, what do you need government? They would say, oh, healthcare, which is bad job they're doing, <laughs> or education, <laughs> terrible job they're doing, <laughs> or, or like money supply. Uh, 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 but you think today, we actually don't need them for money. We have money. There is other applications, which is in uh, other, th we do use government, we need them a lot uh, on many things, of course, but one major thing today they do, this international conflict resolutions and dealing, uh, uh, um, uh, resolving a long-standing conflict between nations, between groups, between uh, territories. What if we solve that? What if this war already in some country, we terminate that war or that hunger in that place, we, 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 we eliminate it. If we do that at our own, and we do have the tools and the models to do that, we, and especially using blockchains, we, you're gonna look again and just like, so what government actually for on this way? We, we, we always will need sort of government, but not the way we have it today, not with these borders, not with 60, 70% collectively, of the world. We were uh, celebrating before yesterday the Tax Freedom Day. The Tax Freedom Day is a, a, um, a, it's an international celebration in every country. It happened on the, on the first day of each year after you, like, you work X days, which is to pay taxes. After you finish paying tax to the government, <laughs> the first day, it's a celebration. For you. <laughs> exactly. You work for you. <laughs> You're working for yourself. In Brazil, that was before yesterday, it was yes. 156. So we work 155 days, actually from beginning of the year <laughs> until before yesterday, you were working to pay taxes. And from now on, you might be able to work but for the yourself. Is good. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's the thing. It's like I, I mean, we understand they spend all this money and stuff, but if if we reduce health, the education, use, security, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely good. What a beautiful world where you have one tax ID and we can use that all around the world. Why do you have multiple when you go? What we used to do that all our life, all our history, we do that. Your grandfather came here at his own. He didn't take a visa from someone. He just kept he at his own and come here with his money, which was gold coin or something from somewhere, and he used it here. It's, it's just the way we have it today, it could be fixed in very much efficient way. And we put all this resource, money, tax, all that, to education, healthcare, and... Uh, Scientific reserve. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. For uh, 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 we, we are we are a lot like in a joke sometimes, but it, it 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 it's if we don't like I mean we don't have options. Some people has options, but we don't we don't or we do that or it it will be over. I mean we we can, we like the, the earth with with us and our species here. It will be it wouldn't be there in fifty to hundred year unless we take. Uh, uh, a like we, we be on charge today and we put this resource in a useful uh, matter. Uh, somebody coming from different planet and you know probability like we, uh, we have like probably a million or something according to some study, a, a million like the chance there's million other planets similar to us and they have the same structure like us. Somebody coming from outside they will just like, guys, it's like you're living on the same place and everybody like pointing gun against the other. You're just like, what's crazy? Why do you have that? Why do you have like virtual lines separating that guy from this guy? And like his guy making guns and that guy making guns uh, against each other. We definitely will never use any of these guns ever again, you know, like, but we still spending, you know, uh, enormous amount of money. So we have today a, a lovely, lovely opportunity and you guys very fortunate that uh, you have this knowledge coming to, to, uh, to, to be between your hands, to have that, this exposure. We finally have 
some good opportunity to mm. put that in place. I am very grateful that uh, uh, FICAP brought uh, this uh, knowledge or, or this experience or this uh, technology of blockchain to the student and they're, I'm very excited to meet you one of these days as well. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm very, very excited the, the work uh, Professor Jesus is uh, doing in, in regards to the blockchain, not just on, on this class, but in, in general to FICAP and to Sao Paulo, Brazil. We have, it's very, very in early stage here, is outstanding. I look forward uh, to see your contribution to blockchain community and how you put that on news. What I know and Jesus know or, or, the, or, 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 or our <laughs> colleagues is very, very minimum. But who gonna build the futures and put on things that we didn't imagine in a much bigger scale? Is you. So, will be very, very. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun watching you guys putting your ideas on practice. We are very happy to have you here. Thank you. you. Are a Thank very you. Very inspiring leader. Thank you to talk with Thank us. Thank you, sir. Ciao, guys. We'll see you. Mm -hmm. yeah.